Happy new moon in Aquarius. I wanted to just hop in super quick and offer a really amazing, amazing little piece of my new moon uh, ritual practice that I do every single month. And this is just like a super kind of ninja, I say that my clients, like a ninja way of getting into your cells and creating a very sovereign experience for yourself. Like you get to choose. So uh, perhaps if you are into how the lunar cycles work and you understand that the new moon is always about, you know, setting new intentions. It's a new month, right? So we're, we've cleaned out, we've cleared from the last month, we've brought things to fruition and now we're starting anew. So after the new moon today, which is 205 Eastern Standard Time. So anytime after that, you want to set some very clear intentions for what you would like to have happen for the next lunar cycle and beyond. And what I want to offer is that it's not just about setting the intentions and going through the motions. Anybody can get a pen and get a piece of paper and write down a bunch of stuff they want to accomplish. And it's kind of a yawn fest. Like, isn't that kind of boring? Like, so 2017, right? Like, we're so beyond that because we understand the power and the technology, not technology in the info tech space. I mean, the technology of our own bodies. And we're seeing this. We've, we've brought so much online this last year in terms of our own evolution as a human species. And now it's really about how do we utilize these powers? How do we how do we navigate through this kind of new, it's really not, it's a remembrance, but it's this uncharted territory, this experience of like tapping into the ancient wisdom that's already always been, already always been, good English, Diane, that's been inside our cells. So today when you're writing your intentions down for what you would like to have happen this month, of course you write them in present tense. And again, that's all cool. And of course you're taking pen to paper and there's power in the motor skill here that really activates the system. It activates your musculoskeletal system to start to really experience this. And the next step is that you want to go in and take one intention that's really hot for you that gives you a real charge. It could be excitement or fear. It doesn't matter, but you feel this experience in your body. Take note of it and then amplify it in the present tense, feel what you think you're going to feel when that intention comes to fruition. So let's say you're like, okay, this month I absolutely am going to uh, bring $10,000 in additional income into my business. Or this month I am going to um, shed an excess 10 pounds. And, you know, whatever it is, that whatever that hard intention is, you know, in this, in this reality is, what is the feeling it's going to give you? Okay, what, is, what are you going to feel like with 10 pounds shed off your body? What does that feel like to you? Feel it, hold it, and allow enough time for your endocrine system to secrete the hormones that give you this chemical wash, this chemical cocktail of euphoria. And you have already manifested. See, that's the quantum here. When you drop time and you drop space and you actually experience the future result in the now, because your body doesn't know the difference, but it's all about creating a, a very powerful chemical sensation in your body now. And then you are elevating your frequency. You're elevating your physical, mental, and spiritual existence so that you're now vibrating in a higher frequency. And it now opens you up to all the possibilities that are there for you to actually pull it into the into the reality into a tangible form so it's 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 like super powerful stuff right but you get to enjoy the actual experience of just being excited about it there's a great old teaching that is uh maybe it's not that old but it's like you actually have more fun planning the vacation than being on the vacation Right? I always think about that with Christmas. Like Christmas season is so dope. I love it. It's like the excitement of it all. It's almost better than Christmas morning. It is better than Christmas morning, right? So it's like that's life. Like 
we're, we're so focused on getting to a result so that we can then be happy. But what about just pulling the joy in, in the, in the quest, pulling the joy in, in what, whatever's in front of you. So write your intentions with joy, with deep contentment, with excellence. Peace out. Happy new moon in Aquarius. And if you haven't, check out my Patreon page. I drop teachings like this all the time and I'm going to be basically hosting them over there in my like museum of esoteric curated teachings. And I'm kicking off a the 11 Lunar Centers of a Woman course today with a full new moon ceremony. So if you want to get the full experience, I walk through an entire new moon ceremony. It's awesome. It's super fun. And then that'll kick off what I will be doing for the next 28 and a half days, which is teachings on each of the 11 lunar centers of a woman and how to really become the enchantress of your emotions. Like when you see like, okay, like I'm moody, I'm, I'm experiencing this, this commotional state and how you pull that into inner sovereignty and wield that energy for your benefit. So that's what this 28 and a half day course is. You're going to learn a lot. It's going to be fun. So go check out it's Patreon dot com backslash Diane Sykes just all one word and I would love to see you in there I'd love to have you join the League of Extraordinary Humans peace out and I'll drop the link in the comments much love